Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today the vacuum cleaner motor, what's inside and maybe how we're going to wire it as a generator or power it by DC batteries and stuff. But first thing, this one it was very hard to took apart and I end up destroying it so it's going to be a while till I'm going to find out another one for the future project. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to show you what's inside for you not having the trouble to dismantle this stuff and uh, destroy it eventually. All right, so first thing first, we have this kind of thingy, which it was attached to the motor. You have to bang this stuff here to take it off. So this is the first one that came off. After that, we have this stuff, which uh, they are screwed each other, so it's very easy to take apart so we're gonna have one we're gonna have some bearings inside here a plastic thingy like so this one was very easy to took apart so was no problem there and we remain with the the case and our rotor which I just bang it a little bit and now it's stuck inside okay so very hard folks this is all the stuff that's inside and of course the stator which we are interested in it these are all the stuff that you're gonna find in the vacuum cleaner motor but for us the most important part is this stuff and the brushes these are the brushes you're gonna find them attached on one side bury it like so and it's got a screw here why I said this is important because the brushes if you can see it here they got this small terminal this one is connected to the coils in order for us to be able to power this one by battery by DC 24 12 and so on we have to remove some of the connections okay okay folks so we have the stator and the brush here you go, I draw a small diagram how the motor is wired. Basically from one brush, straight away from this pin here, this small thingy here, look the golden one, a wire goes to one coil and then it's hopping this brush and coming out. Basically when I did took apart this motor, well, I did have just two wire coming in from the mains. So one is this one and the other one <coughs> goes to this coil and is connected to the other brushes so I'm guessing this is a serious wind motor being an universal motor as the one in the in the washing machine but wired differently as you can see here one wire from the brush which is this one is going to this coil exiting here hopping over and going outside the other coil starts from the brush going and outside okay I told you this is the brush yeah here you go this is the brush and I draw it a little bigger for you on the bottom part there is a metal thingy this one when is hooked up to the motor inside it's got a connection like so you see this small pin with this one when you put the brushes in this stuff connect one to, to another in order for us to make this one able to power by DC we have to connect this vacuum motor we have to make some kind of connection from this one or from the, the connection that's on the stator to disconnect them from each other because this one is connected through here to the carbon rod here so from inside the motor we're gonna take off the brushes and from this pin we're gonna extend the wire and put some kind of isolation tape in between and when we're gonna screw it back in those terminals don't have to touch each other yeah because if you do it wrong I managed to destroy this one so be very careful you got just one chance what I mean by this 
this is a diagram that we're gonna need it we're gonna need to separate the coils one coil the other coil and the brushes yeah with those those thingies we have to find a way to uh, separate them <coughs> and after we have managed to do this we have one coil and the other coil we're gonna unite the coils yeah and we're gonna have one two extension and two brushes and after we have this one connected we're gonna connect one end of the two coils to one brush and then we're gonna have one pin and this brush and with this end of the coil we're gonna connect it to 12 volts this doesn't go nowhere yeah so this was this is the final drawing this is the thing you can find it here on the washing machine motor how to wire it we're gonna do the same thing on this one as well but it's gonna be a while couple of days tops till I'm gonna manage to find another one and put it to work to see if it's gonna be functional or not one more tip and that's it we don't know how these coils are wind normally I think I'm guessing here one should be north and the other one should be south so this one could be wind clockwise clockwise and the other one counter clockwise yeah so in order to succeed this connection we might flip a little bit the coils yeah that was all friends thanks all for watching stay tuned thumbs up subscribe and see you on the next one maybe you're gonna make this one work if you got any comment drop it below if we're gonna do it wrong or right thanks all for watching see you next time bye bye